Welcome to our After Effects exporter tutorial. This plugin supports the, supports the last two versions of After Effects. We must have the quick time drivers installed. I believe in any case that this is compulsory to After Effects anyway, but just in case. You also need to properly prepare the images and videos you want to use. Right? You make use to prepare this beforehand. I assume you install the plugin in the default installation route, so that's how we are going to work. Right? If we are all set, uh, we, can, we can begin. Just allow me a second, please. Okay. You also have to, you need to have your licenses here in this route. Right? This one. Check that you have uh, this file, hostinfo.txt. Alright, you need that before you you get to work. Okay, before exporting anything, we need to configure this thing we're about to see. We need to go to Edit, Alright, Edit. Preferences, General, and uh, we need to set it to allow command sequences to write over files and access the net. Okay. Afterwards, we need to configure the renders for both pictures and video. We go to Processing Kiwi here and then Create Template. Or another option is uh, here in Edit, Templates and Processing this one. We'll, we'll create both images and videos and set the format for both. Right, that's the, the second method. Let's go back to the first method. Okay, that's the one uh, we're going to use for this particular tutorial. It's more intuitive this way. Just, uh, you know, that that's uh, another option for you. Okay. Great, let's go to the first method this one. Here, create template, edit, and here we go. Here in format, we set it to PNG sequence and RGB plus alpha for the channels. We set the PNG options to uh, none and accept. Now, we write a PNG image here. That's the one I recommend for pictures and images. PNG image and uh, and that's it. Okay, that's it for for the images. For movies, on the other hand, I recommend to set it to QuickTime format and uh, animation or PNG for the video comic. Remember that PNG compresses the file more than animation does. Just bear in mind when you when you choose one of the two, one or the of the two. The channel must be RGB plus alpha. If a movie we use as alpha channel as alpha channel, we'll use a set format. And then we finish this by naming this movie animation. All right, movie animation. The last one we have to create has QuickTime format as well, but it's going to be H.264 instead of Alpha, and we're going to we're going to name this movie H.264. Okay, there we go. Movie H.264. There we go. Once we have this, we have our render settings ready to work. Once this is done, we can always use these settings every time we use After Effects for, for this kind of separate, for this kind of operation for the plugin. You only need to use it once and the settings are saved. Okay, now that's uh, now that's uh, out of the way, let's go let's get down to business. This is the template we have with these graphics and look at the pretty animation I have. We're gonna set these two team logos to edit so that the journalist can edit them later and uh, we're going to do the same with the with the uh, Champions League text 
since the since we only have one timeline we have to make the in animation here and uh, the out animation uh, we're gonna have to do that with the plugin right with the plugin itself that's what we're gonna see let's go we got the file save the in command sequence and the brainstorm after effects exporter this one this is the this this is the plugin interface let's go to preferences now okay Right. Oh, first, these are uh, this is a number of usual options for the operator. These are self-explanatory, really. I'm gonna take out some of the ones I don't like. Uh, just bear in mind the important ones are the these two: text layers editable by default and non-text layers editable by default. The first one must always be active so that journalists can edit the template. And the second one, the second one is better off deactivated, as uh, what this does is uh, it allows addition of every object that is not text, meaning pictures and logos, and uh, we don't want to do that right now, not with all of them at least. Okay, we set it to that like that. And next is preferences. This like this. This is the most important part. Many of the After Effects layers we use in this program are not recognizable in Aston or Infinity Set. We must render them. I'm talking about effects or backgrounds, for instance. And we're gonna use, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set. Uh, sorry, yeah. We need to set pixel format to auto. Movie render format, the one down below. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ones uh, that the program gives you by default, a a i f f forty eight kilohertzes are are usually not recommended. We need to we need to change them. All right. We're gonna, we want we must select uh, in short the correct code. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. Just. Uh, Remember, remember, set the pixel format to auto, and uh, let's select the movie codex. All right, we're going to set movie render format to movie animation. We set image render format to image PNG. These are the settings I recommend for almost every every scenario. If the channel does not have alpha, set it to H two six four. Okay. Movie animation and image PNG. That's perfect. That's the way I like it. Now, in render to movie mode, we set it to individually. Hmm? All right, this uh, individually so that it renders each layer that has a video video individually. For example, if my background is composed of two movies, which is the case, the program uh, is going to make a different render for each. I don't want that. Uh, if I set it to merge continues, the system will merge the two if they are located next to each other when displayed as layers. And this this may be useful as the system will render one image instead of two. That's always always uh, led, uh, less uh, load on the system. It's, it's, that's a good thing to have. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it to merge continues. Uh, the third option, Merge All, is, is rather left alone as it collapses all content into one, and that's uh, that's almost never a good idea, okay? Let's, uh, let's settle to Merge Continues. So, the two images that form my background are rendered as one single image, okay? But uh, in any case, that's uh, the recommended option that's really up to you, Depend on depends on each individual case. In this case I have two images that should be one really so merge continues it is. Hit this one template out mode. Uh, okay since we can't make we can't make out animations in, that, in, in After Effects we need to configure them here and we have two options for out animations. We're, set, we're gonna settle with fade the other option is reverse. That's the other out animation option, and that, that that's not sometimes I recommend. That's not something I recommend because sometimes it means trouble with movies. Okay, no, I recommend you set with fade. You set with fade. Great. 
we can also set the direction of the text in the form if we want to. This is useful for, for instance, Arab the Arabic language, since it's uh, from right to left, and other similar left-oriented languages, for instance. We can also convert uh, text to all caps automatically if we want to here. All, right, all caps, check boxes, and form. All right, break at end allows break at end. This one, uh, this one is important. We set it to yes, and uh, we'll explain why later on. And finally, these two adjustments, the one do the one below, shrink and narrow, uh, are for the text and how the text fits within the box. That's a you. That's a, that's useful for this kind of uh, interface it, it, interfaces. It allows uh, that the text is uh, is perfectly inside the box. It doesn't come out at the corners or anything like that. Right, okay. Once I have everything to my liking, we close the interface and click on export. Okay. I'm going to save the changes in my desktop and uh, I'm going to rename the file. All right. Well, maybe, yeah, today, that's it. Great. The format is, uh, take, a look, take a look at that, the format is, is S -E -S -C -M format. The format Aston and Infinity set uh, no and low. And now, uh, now what I want is, I want the background to be a movie. I'm setting both, remember there were two movies, to render to movie. Since they are next to each other, and I set preferences, as you might remember, to merge continues, the system will merge them into one single movie. Right. This Champions League logo, uh, the Champions League logo, I don't want it to be editable, so let's set it to no. Okay. But I want the other two, the team logos, to be editable, so let's set them to yes. We can also uh, apply effects to text like this. All right. Uh, once we are done and we have everything to our liking, let's click on export. All right. Everything is as I want it to. Export. Now it's rendering. Let's wait until it's finished. As you can see, there's a progression bar down below. You just need to be patient. Once it's finished loading, it's finished uh, rendering. We're got good to good to go. Okay. All right, take a look at this. This error is the same as the Photoshop bug we saw in that tutorial. Well, not a bug, but an error you need to get my to get my drift. If the plugin does not recognize a new font, the new font you're gonna you're gonna use for this project, you need to look for this font and select the one we're using. In this case, Arial Bold. All right, so let's go to fonts and uh, find the Arial Bold. There, there it is. We're not going to copy the file itself, but we're good. what we're going to do is right click properties and the t this text here, we're going to copy it here. Let's paste it here. You only have to go through this, as I said in the previous tutorial for Photoshop, once per font. Right? The system will recognize them from, uh, from this point on. You only need to use uh, do this every time you use a new font. Okay, we click on OK and quit the plugin. And now let's open Aston and uh, let's load the new template we just created. All right. Uh, let's see where I saved it. This one. This is the the one I just created. It's loaded now. Okay. There it is. As you can see, we have an in and out to animations now. Let's click and play. See, the animation exported just fine. Perfect. Just perfect. Good. Here on the right, uh, we see that we can edit the logos and the text fields, just like we told the program to do. 
Bert Willenberg. Of course, this being Aston, we can modify colors, we can modify text, animations, uh, just like the just like uh, the usual Aston templates. It's a full blown Aston template what we got here. Let's go to the CG mode because I, I, I'm going to show you something cool. This is the CG mode. Let's load the logos for both football teams. All right. I uh, have the placeholders here, so let's load load the two uh, team logos I have. Allow me to find them. That's one Real Madrid. Athletic club. That's that's perfect, right? Good. Uh, these are the this one will be one matchup, but we can make another template in which the logos are different, like this, All right? We can change the text so they give, they play on a uh, Madrid, for instance, and not the finals, but the semifinals instead, right? The see the Manchester United and the Bayern club. They play in Madrid, and it's the semis instead of the finals. Just like that, just as easy as that. And now we have another template, okay? And just as easy as that, uh, one and two. Perfect. See, we have now we now have two templates with different content. And that's about it for our After Effects plugin, friend, my friends. And that's uh, that's about it. Easy as that. Thank you.